Hi and welcome. Let's get making my 2020 word of the year. Hi guys, welcome to this uh, episode and today we're going to talk about a word of the year. Now before we get started, I would love to hear in the comments below what your word of the year is or what you were thinking of your word of the year to be. I'd love to know and maybe we can support each other and keep each other accountable. Simply put, a word of the year guides your intention over the next 12 months and that intention is turned into action through small goals and milestones that you set up along the way. You can set up big tasks or activities throughout the year. It also serves as a regular affirmation and a starting block for affirmations throughout your months of the year. Using the same example of you know, the idea that you have had at the beginning of the year that you want to see kind of run through that entire year around developing skills, behaviors, or even capability. In 2017, my word of the year was survive. In 2018, my year, word of the year was growth. And in 2019, my word of the year was thrive. This year, for 2020 and a new decade, I've decided that my word of the year is blossom. And how did I get to that, right? Deciding your word of the year is the million dollar question. This is the first step you need to take. You need to kind of jot out or think about what your values are and what's most important to you. Is it being financially stable? Is it being creative? Is it traveling? There are a number of words that might resonate with you, but one should stand out the most. Go through your list of core values and select maybe 10. From there, write down your top three, and there should be one word that kind of covers those top three. For me, it was growth and development and blossoming for me really resonated because it showed that I was going to spend 2020 kind of blossoming into a whole bunch of new stuff. It's really not rocket science and it's all about a word that resonates with you. So today we're going to go through just how I took my word of the year and created a cover page for my notebook and journal and planner that really kind of embodied what blossom meant to me. So let's get started. For 2020, I'm going to be using my Teresa Collins Happy Planner. I'm going to, to make my year word of the year, I'm going to rip out some of the pages that I've put in and I'm going to create my word of the year on one of the inserts. To start with, I'm going to grab my circle maker and I'm going to create a circle out of some black card. I'm then going to write out the word blossom because blossom is my word of the year. I'm going to then cut out the shape around the word blossom so that we've kind of got like a see-through look to it. I'm really excited to show you what we're going to do with it. Now that we have all the letters cut out in our little circle, I'm going to go through my Amy Tangerine paper and I'm going to cut out some corresponding colors to make a rainbow with the letters of the word blossom. Now that I have all my letters corresponding to a part of the rainbow, I'm going to start kind of adding a background to it and I'm going to use rainbow washi tape to add the background to it. So I've already pre-found some Roy Jabiv washi tape and I'm going to stick it around kind of in like a sun ray feel. And as I go through this, I'm going to kind of add a little bit of texture, I'm going to add a little bit of color, and I'm going to add a whole bunch of different colors that represent the colors of the rainbow. Thank you. 
Now that I've got a beautiful kind of spray look behind my blossom words, I'm now going to add some stickers to add a little bit more texture. I'm going to add floral stickers because the word is blossom and I'm going to add some flowers, some little discs, I'm going to add a whole bunch of uh, die cuts and I'm going to place them around the word blossom to keep in the feel of that rainbow. Now that I'm happy with where everything is sitting, I'm going to stick them in and I'm going to be pretty much finished. When sticking them in, I am going to add just a couple extra embellishments here and there, but it's pretty much done now. As always, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you being here. You can find us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and all the other regular places. Feel free to reach out to us on email or even pop us a DM on Instagram. See you next time.